Alright, hopefully now I have enough space to do this video I was trying to do earlier. But anywho, my name is K-Dog, I'm coming right at you. Uh, what's up YouTube Nation? I'm making a video to benefit you in the long run, you know what I'm saying? It's if you're out there on the dating game like me, great great for you. I hope that you are getting done and getting out there and doing what you think feels great, you know what I'm saying? What's up, you know, doing your own thing, getting out there and making a name for yourself. Great, I'm happy for you. But just be careful. Like a lot of, if you are on online dating, be very careful. That's all I got to say. It is because these men and women, mainly women, my experience is with women, is they will fucking try to take all your money. I'm not saying all of them will. I'm saying a good portion of them. That is the main intention, is to take all your money away. I ain't trying to be a dick or nothing, say, well, that's all women are out there, guys are out there to do, is take your money. But nine times out of ten, that's what they're doing, is they're here to take they make a full profit off of online day. Like at the end of the day, like I, um, and I was blind to this. I was one of the ones who basically thought women, I mean men was supposed to provide for the woman. And that was the guy's job. Now I'm a to believe one, it takes two to tango, and it sure takes two um, professions to make a two-person dream work. But like at the end of the day, my experience first started when I was um, five, six years ago. I was doing my own thing on a dating platform. I'm not gonna say what dating platform it is, because um, I, don't, I don't want them to get, get me in trouble for giving them a bad rep or a bad name or whatever. But anywho, so they, uh, I met this girl. We were going to go to the club. It was going to be me, her, and another friend. And we ended up, uh, in it, and say you're in the club, going to this fancy rash I ended up paying for me my friend whole friend and whole it was about a hundred dollars it was a high-end store it wasn't nothing like McDonald's Waffle House none of that it was a fucking champagne uh high-end restaurant um and then I ended up having to pay for her gas to get back to the town she lived in because she lived in the next town over and then after that we ended up I mean uh, meeting up again, I ended up spending $440 on a fucking phone, um, I ended up taking her out to eat, um, and that, that kind of thing went on, L little things like that started adding up, then, again, we, uh, I ended up laying down about two grand on a car for, so yeah, it's, it's just one thing leads to another. Well, um, I ended up stopped talking to her because I was tired of her uh, taking all my money and stuff like that. But, um, it, 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 and she gave me a bunch of crap for her, uh, for me helping her out, which actually ended up not being anything. But, um, I ended up letting her come back in my life. She ended up ruining my credit again so now I have really bad fucking credit thanks to her again so um 
the reason why I'm saying all this and stuff like that is if you know somebody that has been put in the same situation I was, or if you yourself has been put in the same situation I was, there is no laws against what these women and men are doing right now. You know what I'm saying? It's up to us to expose these women. You know what I'm saying? And the reason I say that is because when she fucked my credit up, took basically, uh, we got this car loan and the car ended up getting repaired and stuff. And she ended up not making any payments. I tried to do an initial investigation. I had all her information, where she lived, what she did, all that. I had a bunch more evidence than I had the last time. But law enforcement said they cannot do anything because, honestly, I gave the initial consent. Well, yeah, I gave consent on signing my name and stuff like that. It's not like identity theft or anything. But at the end of the day, I did that because I loved her. And at the end of the day, I did that because I thought she loved me. But instead, she ended up screwing me over. And you have women that do this. You have men that do it too. But they take these really nice, they take advantage of nice people. And I am beginning a show that calls Expose, Expose the, the Naughty. And I'm getting a, I'm starting a show called Exposing the Gold Diggle. Kind of like How to Catch a Gold Diggle. It's going to be the name of my show. And How to Catch a Gold Diggle is basically, I... Myself, I'm going to be looking for people who, that's my main objective, is trying to be with people or scam people out of the money through dating websites. And um, if you have anybody um, that are interested in, um, or if you know anybody who have had anything like what happened to me, happen to them please uh hit me up in the comments um i'm gonna leave my uh email in the description below um let's catch some gold diggers let's catch some scammers let's bring them to justice together because i kind of want to do this um basically the setup of what we're going to be doing is um, I'm going to be um, calling whoever, or FaceTiming whoever gives me the um, the go-ahead on, on whoever they want to get caught. And I'm going to kind of get their story, kind of ask them how it came to be, what happened, how much they're in debt, or how much they ended up taking. And uh, well, they want to go with it, and it's all going to be documented um, and uh, put on my YouTube channel. It's called How to Catch a Gold Digger um, and stuff like that. So um, I hope you guys are really interested in helping me catch men and women who do this. And um, let's work together, catch some gold diggers, okay? Um, if you're interested in helping me keep this show going um, and are willing to uh, donate, we're going to hopefully get a gold uh, GoFundMe account set up and stuff like that because I'm not funded by a TV show. I don't have Netflix, Hulu, or MTV behind me like Matt and Eve with Catfish was. But um, we'll get like make a TV show and hopefully it'll go good but um I was just putting the word out there hoping that you guys are ready to help me catch a gold digger let's go stay safe keep it will stay cool